Hello ladies and gentlemen. Ah, this is Michael Montero from the Monteville Studios. Still continuing with this book, The Art of Creative Thinking by John Adair. Ah, and um, we are at chapter four that says travel to stimulate your mind. Traveling is like gambling. It is ever connected with winning and losing. And generally we are least expected. We receive more or less than we hope for. That is golf. The vividness of strange places is one of the aphrodisiacs of writing. Said John Lee Kerr. In a recent radio interview, you may not be words leading over of spy thrillers, but you can certainly benefit from traveling. It stimulates your creative powers. Why is this so? By taking a relatively brief trip to a place where you do not live, to intending, not intending to stay there, you are transporting yourself from one culture to another. You are exposing yourself to what is a new and strange environment. Different language, set of customs, buildings, clothes and food. All is unusual. It is just what you need to jolt you out of your mental rats. He was a bold man. Rod Swift, who first ate the oyster, travel then can be mentally invigorating. I accept that travel may not be as directly useful to you as it will be to another in search of a background, atmospheres and characters for his ex for his next novel but it can stimulate curiosity and arouse interest in short it gives your intellect an arising now all travel does all travel does not have that effect a skiing holiday in a party made up of your own friends or fellow nation nationals or a pack, packed holiday cocooned in a luxury hotel with a private beach may be physically restful and mentally relaxing. Both valuable ingredients for creative thinking. But such holidays will not in themselves prove to be mentally exciting. You will have to take your mental stimulus with you in the shape of books. If you had the time, you could read them equally well at home. Nor, alas, in these days, mass of air travel will journey, will the journey there or back be much of experience unless you let elect travel by boat or train? But even these methods were considered to be authentical real travel in their day. According to Pretarch, the Loman statesman Cato, the elder retrograded three things in this in his life that he had entrusted a secret to a woman, that he had lost a day through idleness, and that he had gone by sea when he might have gone on foot. In a, lot, in a later age, even making journeys by steam engine trains was regarded as not really traveling. Going by trail road, I do not consider as traveling at all, wrote John Ruskin in the last century. It is merely being sent to a place and not very different from being a parcel. Here are two practical examples of how travel can contribute to new ideas and innovation in industry. 
In the 1920s, Simon Marx visited America and studied what was happening in the real in the retail trade. The American farmer had little time or opportunity to go shopping. So the farmer received the catalog and when and when and was given the novel guarantee of your money back and no questions asked providing the service meant also creating new human skills for example by organizing supply to achieve new standards of efficiency Sears fathers adapted itself in the 1920s to the vast new urban market by replacing its stores on the outskirts of the cities. After Simon Marx returned from America in 1924, he remodeled Marx and Spencer's to provide high quality goods at low price, together with a money back guaranteed. Sir Terence Conran became dissatisfied by British furniture shops some decades later. Why is buying furniture so boring? Such a call. Why do those shops look so bad? Why are the salespeople so dissatisfied? These are some of the questions he asked himself. The inspiration to change things he said came from asking myself what I had seen on my travel that worked well. For me, the market for France and the iron mongers shops of France all had the sort of qualities I found fascinating and exciting. Bringing these ideas together with the market need in British Britain led me to open the first habitat shop. How adventurous are you when it comes to travel? Just look back over the last five years and list your travel, including holidays and business trips. Do they suggest to you that you have a habit of mind that is interested in exploring the new or untried? Now, write down some ideas for travel in the next five years. Use travel as means, in other words, to feed and stimulate your curiosity about life. Show a willingness to take some risk. Develop the zest of explorations. Such travel, which gives you experience as well as pleasure, pays an expected dividend. dividend. The more engrossed you are in another culture, the more you will experience a mind culture shock when you return home. The familiar will seem strange, for you will be looking at your own country with fresh eyes. Many things and people, traditional assumptions and values to which you have become over accustomed will take on a new existence will take a new existence the whole subject of travel is not to set foot on foreign land wrote gk chestston it is at last to set foot in one's own country as a foreign land the creative thinker has to turn himself into a stranger in his own home environment if he is to think what nobody has thought. Travel more, adventurous travel is one way of doing just what that. Key points, travel with an element of exploration and discover stimulate over 10,000 million brains excel for the unknown is potentially exciting by traveling adventurously 
you will encounter the strange and see connection between it and what it already known or familiar to you hereby enlarging knowledge your knowledge it cures you of the illusions and limits of your field of vision the limits of the world travel helps to convert the familiar into the strange who really knows their own country they never venture beyond its borders that is the end of chapter 4 that was telling us about um, travel to stimulate your mind on chapter 5 we're going to read tomorrow about widen your span of relevance hope to see you there thank you and um have a good time with yourself your family your loved ones and your friends peace